Hey family, it's your girl Tina. Welcome back to the channel. Come on, tell him thank you. It's white party time. We got an awesome lineup waiting for you. So relax, sit back, and let's see what we have created. I'm excited. I hope you excited. First run out the gate, I have my all white card. When I say I love it, you all, I absolutely love this card. All right, so all white, white card base. I pulled out a piece of white glitter paper, layered it on there, and then I had some a sheet of an embossed um, card stock with nothing but flowers embossed all through it, and I cut a piece of that off. I took my Fisker's Punch and made me some grass. Love, love, love. So it's three different textures on there. We got a texture with the grass. We got texture with the first layer and a different texture with the third layer. Love the way that that came out. A friend is one who knows you and loves you the same. This is the sentiment inside of my card. I uh, heat embossed it with some white Martha Stewart embossing powder. Really love the way this card came out. I don't know about you all, but I'm loving the Slim Black cards. All right, here's my second run out the gate. All white card. I took white card base. I took an... Um, Another sheet of card stock that had a little texture to it. You can see it in the um, closer that way. Okay, so I layered the first layer. And then I took that same paper and made my hearts, cut out primitive hearts with that same paper. Beautiful. Now, this second layer is a sheet of white flopped embossed paper i love the texture of that paper you all this card came out beautifully and on the inside can you see you can see it if i tilt it this way okay that's the inside to the world you may be one person but to me you are the world love the way that that came out card number two and i love how i took the hearts put them on top of each other, wrap the twine, and then added those few little gemstones. Made a huge difference in that card. Love it. Run out the gate number three. This time, you all, I pulled out my sewing machine. I used um, some of that uh, card stock, and I had some vellum. This is not vellum. I had some acetate sheets with nothing but clouds in them. Love the way I'm going to bring it up closer so you can see them clouds. Okay. Love the way that that turned out. So I took it and I sold it around the edge. I filled it with some um, a sequence mix. You can see it at the bottom. Okay. I filled it with some sequence mix and sealed it up with the storm machine and then adhered that panel down to the car stock absolutely love 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 this car and my my sequence do move i love it so i made a shaker card all right in the inside of this i took stitching and put it around that panel and i thought that made the car complete Enjoy the little things for the one you enjoy the little things for one day you'll look back and realize they are the big things. Love this card. All right, you all. So that are those are my three cards, and I'm just gonna simply show you the stamps that I use for all three was by close to my heart, and it was called uh, Card Chatter. So it was three of them: Card Chatter from the Little Things. Card chatter, focus on a friend. Card chatter, focus on you. Okay? And you all, let me show you my last and final project. I decided to make a canvas. Oh, my God. 
Okay, you all see it. This canvas came out so, so, so nice. So many layers. So many layers. I took two canvas panels and I layered them, layered one of them on top of the other. I used some of those little small clay picture frames. They used to be in the Michaels dollar bin up here. I used a keyhole from Tim Holtz collection right here. I used a little piece back here from Saw Crafters. Um, I used a zipper. I have a metal key. I have layers and layers of various fabrics over here. I have some cheesecloth wrapped up in there. You can see more cheesecloth, more cheesecloth. I use my sea beads. I love that. I used a prima flower in the middle. And you all, I whited it down. I whited it down. I absolutely love this. I absolutely loved it. And then after I did the gesso all over, because all of my ribbon that I used on this side is various colors. I got some turquoise under there, a purple up under there, a piece of pink up under there, and I gessoed everything down. After I gessoed it, then I washed it with some white paint. And then for the final touch, I used some Angel, um, Tatter Angels, Glimmer Mist, the Clear Shine. And you all look at it. Look at that gloss. Can you see? Can you see? I absolutely, you see that shimmer? I absolutely love it. So you all, this is my presentation of the White Party. I hope, hope, hope that you enjoyed it and that you liked it. If you want to know any um, other questions or materials that I used in any of these projects, please leave it down in the uh, comment section and I will answer. Listen, have a safe and a wonderful, wonderful holiday. Hop and find out what else is strolling in this white party. Till next time, you all stay blessed, wash them hands, and keep creating.